Hi guys, my name is Gia Gem Scholar and welcome to the 12th and final episode of Mean Girls Spring Break. Last episode we were crowned the Greek Games champions, even after a hearing into the whole Greenoid and Regida thing. At the end of last episode, there was this guy that turned out to be an FBI agent, so we need to check that out in this episode and see what is going on. You're in jail? We snuck into this fancy condo building to go swimming, but we got busted and now we have to wait here until Monday to see a judge. But you'll miss your flight home. I know, we're both freaking out. You guys are idiots, this is so unfair. Um, you guys are idiots. <laughs> you guys are idiots. What were you doing trespassing? I know, Greenoid, we screwed up. Tell her we were just trying to have an adventure. We were just trying to have an adventure. <laughs> okay, guys, just sit tight and I'll see what I can do. Oh, so, uh, Justin, any chance you could help me get my friends out of jail for trespassing? Hmm, that will be tricky. This guy is the FBI agent. Trespassing is a big problem here. It's the main thing tourists get arrested for. Usually the property owner has to drop the charges for them to get out of jail. Crap. <laughs> I'm happy to go down to the station with you. But first we have to take down Travis Antonio before he robs your friend Gretchen blind. Do you know where she is now? I just texted her. She's safe at the hotel with Karen and Janice. Then let's get moving, we don't have much time. So, Travis Antonio is a count, but he's also a con artist who's in love with me. No. <laughs> so he's not a con artist, just a noble count who's in love with me? No. Well then, I'm totally lost. Oh my god. God, Gretchen, he is a con artist. He is not in love with you. And he is not royalty. He's from New Jersey. Is his name really Travis Antonio? Unfortunately, yes. Tough break, Gretchen. It's too sad for me to even put it on Karen Uncensored. I'll power through the pain. <laughs> put that away. You're all so unhelpful. I know, right? Like I said before, everyone's incompetent but me and Janice. We need to set up a sting to catch Count Travis Antonio. But I could never betray the man I love. Hang on a second. Gretchen, what if we could use Karen Uncensored to set up that sting? It would really help me out. My view hits are like really low since I haven't posted all week. So you'd use my star power to revive Karen's channel? Sure. Are you in? Well... Anything for my best friend Karen. Sisters before misters. Actually, Regina's my best friend. Oh, poor Gretchen. Oh my God, why are you like this? <sighs> okay. I've got an idea. Here's what we'll do. Ooh. <gasps> Danger. What took you so long? Wow, I do not love that tone. Of course, my tropical parakeet. Do you have the money? You mean, your parents' ransom money? Yes, of course that's what I mean. And once they're free, we'll be together forever? Gretchen, my perfect piece of strudel. My love for you burns like a thousand suns. Now just hand over the money. I want it all... Oh. Hands up where I can see them, Travis Antonio. And can you, real quick, tell my viewers if you like puppies or ponies better? It's over, Travis Antonio. You mess with the wrong strudel queen, buddy. Wait, I was so close. Please, just let me keep the money. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say or do can be used against you in a court of law. Oh, 
OMG, I just started streaming and we've already got 200k hits. Gretchen, this was so fetch. Super cool of you. <laughs> I'll take it. Well done, I couldn't have gotten Gretchen on board without you. What can I say, I have good ideas every now and then. Thanks for the help. Do mention it. It's been cool getting to hang out with the real you. Thanks Justin, stop hitting on me. Stop hitting on me. Stop hitting on me. I have a boyfriend Justin. I was just trying to be nice. By the way, I called the police department about your friends and unfortunately they're keeping Katie and Aaron in custody until they can see a judge on Monday. Seriously? I'm sorry. Funny enough, they broke into the same condominium complex where Travis Antonio was living. Small world, huh? I see you're around, Greenoid. Let me know if you ever want a job with the FBI. Will do. This is bad, Mika. We can't just leave Katie and Aaron in there. No more brilliant ideas up your sleeve? Ahem. <clears throat> I might have a solution to this problem. Gretchen, you can't just throw the jail guards a free box of strudel and hope that they'll take care of it. First of all, how dare you? You know what that's worked before. And second, I can come up with good plans too. <laughs> Poor Katie and Aaron. <laughs> Ooh. Is that Gretchen? We're doomed. Can I help you, miss? I'm here to demand the freedom of two poor souls named Katie Heron and Aaron Samuels. Yeah, we're doomed. Well, that's very nice, miss, but they were trespassing. They were not. They were my guests at the condo complex and I can prove it. This is the resident pass to my gorgeous poolside condo. Hmm, looks legit to me. We were definite, we were definitely her guests. Her boring guests. And you say they were guests of yours? Yes, Sergeant. Then why did they jump over the fence? Duh, because I fell asleep with my phone on silent. Don't you hate it when that happens? Oh, it's the worst. Gretchen, I can't believe that worked. Well, things were getting serious between me and Travis Antonio. He gave me a resident pass to his condo. Wait, he's in jail and you have the house keys? Yeah. Taxi! I guess we're heading over to Count Travis Antonio's condo. Let's hang back for a sec. I feel like we could use some quality time, just the two of us. Quality time? I'm being serious, Greenoid. Ever since I got to send Jezebel, you've done nothing but hang out with your friends. I'm sorry, Mika. In my defence, I wasn't expecting you to show up here unannounced. Not that I'm not happy with the surprise. So what do you have in mind? Well, I was thinking I could take you on a date. Buy you a new outfit, take you to get some famous St. Jezebel cupcakes. I want to celebrate your victory at the National Greek Conference. Plus, seeing you in a sexy island outfit is an ideal way to spend the last day of vacation. <laughs> oh, get a new outfit and go on a date is 40 gems. That would be such a good way to end up this series, but oh, we've just not quite got enough, so we're going to have to do maybe some other time. <laughs> Poor Mika. Let's just head over to Count Travis Antonio's. Are you sure? Unfortunately. But once we get back to Evanston, I'm all yours. Ah, the lap of luxury. The place I've always belonged. How I've missed you. My camera just died, so we're now on my phone for the rest of this episode. <laughs> Let's continue. Way to go, Gretch. You proved you're a semi-competent adult. Damien and I won't have a cent of student loan debt. That is definitely something to celebrate. I've got a killer story for the school paper about my time as a castaway. I've got cell service. Dude, you'd have that on the mainland. What do you mean? And things seem to have worked out well for all the couples in the group. Katie and Aaron are out of jail. And I love you more than ever. I love you too. This is vomitous. 
totally. Who even needs a stupid boyfriend anyway? Not us. Sisters over misters. You ladies having a party? Oh, it's that guy from the island. Excuse me? Can I buy Damien for a second? Oh, it's a smoothie guy. Never mind, abandoning you forever, Regina. <laughs> Bye! You came back? I felt like I owed you an apology. I'm listening. I was really judgmental about the whole frat thing. Guess I spent too much time pouring smoothies for jerky entitled frat boys. You pour them so well. <laughs> and I formed some strong opinions. I get it. Not all frats are created equal. But if you're in a frat, well, you're great. Really great. They can't be all that bad. Does that mean... Oh, come here. Aww. Damien's got together with Smoothie Guy. In all this excitement, I've barely called my mum all break. I have to fill her in. Ooh. Hey, sweetheart. You know if they cleaned the pool yet today? Whoa. You're the fortune teller. I have so much to tell you. All your predictions were spot on. I so forgot about the fortune teller. By the very start of the season, we went to go and see one. <gasps> Mum? Did you get drunk and do your fortune teller routine again? Uh, I can't believe this. Every year we come here from Ohio, my mum gets drunk and dresses up and does this whole ridiculous fake accent. I'm so sorry you have to witness this. I have the most embarrassing mum on planet Earth. Go back to the condo, mum. You're so embarrassing. Hey, don't be such a buzzkill. It's my spring break too. <laughs> oh, what's so funny, babe? Oh, it's a long story. Well, lucky for you, we've got plenty of time. Ah, is that how we're gonna end? I think it is. That is the end of Mean Girls Spring Break. Thanks for reading Mean Girls Spring Break. You can play this story again and see what happens if you make different choices. Let me know, every time I do an episode, I ask you that if you make different decisions than me, does it affect the outcome? Let me know down below in the comments if your story was different to mine in any way. There are tons of other stories on episode and quite a few of you have been asking me to do some others. So if you wanna comment down below on some that you want me to do, I will have a look over the next few days and see if there are any that I think would be good. But thank you so much for watching this series. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. Hit the bell to get notification of when I upload a new video. Thanks for watching and I will see you soon. Bye.